Hey there, and welcome to the Pseudo Show, brought to you by the Destination Linux Network. Today, I talk about the Pseudo Show and changes and plans for 2022 and beyond. All that and more on this episode of the Pseudo Show. Hey there, and welcome to the Pseudo Show, your home for all things open source. It's Brandon, and today I'm solo, but I have a great episode for you today to talk about the future of the Pseudo Show. The Pseudo Show is brought to you by Bitwarden. Head on over to bitwarden.com slash DLN to find out more about their amazing password manager. The Pseudo Show is also brought to you by DigitalOcean. Head on over to do.co slash dln to check out DigitalOcean services and for a $100 free credit. As we close out 2021, look to 2022. I mean, every year brings some sort of change, and this year is no different for the pseudo show. So first off, I wanted to address something right at the beginning. You probably noticed in the tagline that we dropped the term enterprise. So instead of your home for all things enterprise open source, it's the home for all things open source. Now, there's a reason for that. Part of that is everything we talked about in 2021 and 2020 when we started the podcast, maybe it was geared more towards enterprises, but I definitely felt that it was relevant for uh, small business uh, IT managers and IT directors, as well as uh, managed service providers that um, you know, manage many small business shops. It, it was relevant to everyone. And so to be more inclusive uh, for the uh, people out there that, that you know, they hear that enterprise tagline and they go, you know what, this doesn't interest me. Well, it will interest you now. Um, I think uh, the topics we have for the coming year will be relevant to everyone in the technology space. Whether if you're uh, managing 20,000 virtual machines at a telecommunications provider, or just five servers in uh, in a closet at, at, a, at your local uh, SMB. And frankly, if you're crazy like me, it is relevant to the enthusiast that runs a complex home lab or just wants to try new projects to up their skills. Another big change to the pseudo show uh, in 2022 is we will be doing fewer interviews. This is based on audience feedback. I want to focus more on the technology this year, but that doesn't mean we're doing away with interviews altogether. Now, if an interview will advance the conversation or advance the, um, the knowledge of the audience, I'm absolutely going to bring someone on the show. I'm planning on bringing on other hosts or guests to go deep into these technology topics, either in a discussion or interview format. Throughout 2021, we've hinted at introducing video content to the pseudo show. The podcast is still going to be very important. But the video content is going to be uh, a companion to the podcast. There have been many, many, many topics that have needed more than just a single audio-only podcast and at least needed a companion video. For example, I actually thought this was the perfect recipe, and this is what I'm going to try to replicate throughout 2022. I've made a video for mist.io, the open source edition. And that ended up being the perfect companion video to our interview with Miss CEO Chris Solstice. And the video was not originally intended to be that way, but it was perfect. So you're going to see uh, video content that is coupled with the podcast in 2022. There may not be video content for every podcast episode, but there will definitely be um, uh, video content where it is relevant and where it is needed. 
Another change that is coming to the show is I created a pseudo show GitLab project on GitLab.com. There I'll be posting Ansible playbooks, scripts, and basically all the content used to make up the uh, my home lab to, to get all these projects uh, that we'll be talking about on the show installed. And I would invite everyone to contribute to this. Like if you see a glaring error in my Ansible playbook, fork it and make a merge request. If there's something you want to contribute to the show, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, like if there's an Ansible playbook to help get that you've written to help get a certain project up and going that you know I'm going to review, please, by all means, uh, contribute to this content. Another thing I'll be doing with uh, the GitLab project is I'll be doing more or less most of the planning out out in the open. I'm going to make the planning open source. So that'll be published to the GitLab project. So if they have a topic idea uh, or someone that you'd like me to interview, make a merge request with your topic idea and I'll do my best to get it into the show. 2022 is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to your feedback and contributions to the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. As always, your feedback is welcome. Head on over to pseudo.show slash discuss. If you like more of the pseudo show, you can find it over at pseudo.show and on social media at pseudo show podcast. You can catch more awesome content over at network partners at destination linux.network. You can follow me on most social media at dbrandonjohnson or my website at open-tech.net and new content over at destinationlinux.network. Remember, the pseudo show is your place for all things open source. Until next time.